here's why that's so valuable to you. Your inner being knows you, knows everything about you and adores you. And your inner being knows everything that you've been living and everything that you've asked for and everything that therefore you have subsequently become vibrationally. Your inner being knows the fullest state of evolution that is you and it is magnificent and your inner being is offering you constant feedback about how you can turn that into things constant feedback to help you turn this vibrational reality which is full of the prosperity that your life has caused you to ask for and full of more harmony that your life has caused you to ask for full of all of the benefits that your life has caused you to ask for that your inner being is standing and living in fullness of your inner being is constantly knowing right where you stand in your physical human reality in relationship to what your vortex is and your inner being is on a constant steady stream feeding to you the path of least resistance for you to turn those thoughts into things the path of least resistance meaning the path of your least resistance because you're the one who has resistance it's all right your inner being doesn't even mind that you have resistance your inner being knows how to lead you 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 the other day Esther was sitting in the airport in San Diego she was there about an hour early and she sat down she was happy she was sort of noticing what was going on around beautiful day looking out the big windows feeling such satisfaction satisfaction about how she felt satisfaction about the day satisfaction that was the only way to describe it just satisfaction and then she thought I think I'll go over there so she went over and sat in another chair then she went and bought a bottle of water and then she sat in another chair and then she sat in another chair and then she went over to check on the flight because it was nearly boarding time and the plane wasn't there and she's just wondering if she had time to go do something else and so then she sat down she was sitting there just sort of staring off into space appreciating the smallness and the efficiency of the airport the man sitting next to her had his phone to his ear no earplugs but he was listening out of the end of his phone to something and Esther heard the word vibration and then she listened a little closer and she realized it was Abraham <laughs> so she said to him He said, you're kidding me. <laughs> he said, my daughter has been wanting me to listen to this. And I have to say, I'm a believer. <laughs> now, now, he said, she's not going to believe this. She's just not going to believe this. And I said, then we better take a picture. <laughs> and then he said, I have to call her. I have to call her. So he called. She didn't answer. He left a message. And Esther said, let's call her back and I'll leave a message. <laughs> so now, what was that all about? Her inner being knew where he was, knew that that would be exhilarating to him, knew it would be pleasing to his daughter, knew it would be fun for Esther, knew it would be a fun moment in time. But Esther couldn't hear us say and would not have even wanted to hear us say there's a man over there listening to you on the recorder see if you can find him and sit next to him Esther would not have allowed herself to receive that she's too modest she doesn't want to make a big thing about things she would not have been able to go directly there so we suggested go over there go over there go over there go over there how about over there what do you think about over there so since she was moving from place to place to place to place to place to place to place she did manage to plunk herself down in the perfect place to have a delightful manifestation so your inner being knows where all kinds of delightful manifestations are and they don't have to be more than that moment in time in other words you see what we're getting at just delight here and 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 delight here Esther came out of meditation one day and went with the impulse to figure out her music system in her California house it's been there a lot of years Esther never really understood it 
So she sat down and started pushing some buttons and it started doing some things she didn't know it would do. And she'd push a button and then she'd go listen and there are speakers outside in the gardens, in the courtyard, in this room, in this room, upstairs, downstairs, there are speakers all over. Who knew? <laughs> Her inner being knew. So now she finds this menu of music. So she's listening to this and listening to this and listening to this and listening to this and turning it up and listening to this and listening to this and she found rap. She liked it. She's practicing her rap moves. <laughs> and then the men came who were going to move some furniture around in her house. Now that's another story from the day before. That morning out of meditation, when Esther came out, she thought that should be over there and that should be over there and that should be over there and that should be down there. And that should be down and that should be up and that should be over and that should be over there. And that would look better. And then she got the inspiration to call someone to come and move it all around for her. So now the men are here and they're moving things around and they're enjoying her beautiful space. And then they said, it's a beautiful day. Esther said, prettiest place on earth. And then one of them said, but I'm moving back to Alabama. And Esther said, have you lost your mind? <laughs> and he said, I'm a rapper. And I have some things going on there. And Esther said, I'll be right back. She went in and pushed her buttons, pushed the buttons in all the gardens, all around everywhere. And this rap music comes on. And she goes out and the boys are amazed <laughs> at this famous rapper in this beautiful garden. And he said, what do you do? He cannot figure this lady out. <laughs> and Esther said, I'm a teacher. And he said, what do you teach? And Esther said, rap. <laughs> well, it sort of is. It's streaming. And it could be rhyming if it mattered. And then they got talking and he ended up leaving with some books and things. And so what we're getting at is his inner being knew what he's looking for. His inner being knew right where it was. His inner being knew what his path of least resistance was. His inner being knew. Esther's inner being knew how she could be part of it too. So in Esther's meditation, she gets the impulse to discover rap in her sound system. Don't you think that's a wonderful thing? Don't you think that it is a wonderful thing that your inner being knows where you are in relationship to everything that you want and knows where everyone else is in relationship to what they want and knows how you can be paired together or clustered together in order to fulfill each other. And can't you imagine a wonderful world where more and more of you are in the receptive mode so that your inner beings are guiding you to the thoughts and the actions that bring the upliftment that you are born to because you are meant to be satisfied. But we want you to understand that satisfaction comes from one place and one place only. When life causes you to expand and so you've got this vibrational calling where think about it this vibrational reality law of attraction is responding to it too law of attraction is responding to the larger part of you and to everything that you've been asking for law of attraction is causing all of these cooperative components to culminate to gestate and to become ready for you to receive but the question is are you ready are you ready to receive? And the answer is not unless you're feeling some satisfaction about something. 
So if you're walking around dissatisfied about how much money you don't have or how your lover hasn't come yet or how this is wrong and this is wrong and this is wrong in your dissatisfaction, even though your inner being is offering a constant stream to help you find your satisfaction, you're on the wrong channel. You cannot hear it. You're not ready to be ready to be ready to be ready to be ready, you see. It's such a good life when you manage to quiet your mind and stop any momentum and then you allow your momentum to come from the knowledge base of your inner being. When you allow yourself to be primarily a vibrational match to who you really are, then there's just this constant stream of what others want to call coincidences that you will come to know as the reality that your inner being is assisting you in the creation of because we are all in this together. So step one is life causes you to ask. And step two is it is being gathered together in this vortex of creation. And their inner being is there answering everything that you want. And step three is you've got to get into the receiving mode. And as you hang around more and more and more and more and more in the receiving mode, we call that step four, that's mastering it. As you hang around in that receiving mode, then what happens is often you will be inspired by your inner being and if you've been practicing what the feeling of inspiration is and you've been following through with the action that you were inspired to and then you've been experiencing the benefit of getting to actually live the manifestation because you followed that inspiration so that you're really good at feeling it and following through with it then you get to be really really often the step two with inner being part of the equation. You get to be standing at the right time in the right place in front of someone who is young or old and wanting to understand how this all fits together. Who has a career ahead of him that he's excited about but he does not know what he's doing. And he's running away from California because he thought it would work there and he's going back to where he came from before because it seemed to be working a little bit better there and is asking with every fiber of his being, how does this work? How is it that I find what I'm looking for? And he managed to dance his way right into the experience of someone who really knows. And how did that come about? How did that come about? Esther got an idea to move furniture around. Do you know furniture looks pretty good wherever it is? It didn't need to be moved all around. It's been moved twice since then. It didn't need to be moved over there and over there and over there and over there. She didn't need somebody to move her furniture. The person who moves furniture wanted to know what Esther knows. And source energy knows where the question is and where the answer is and where the likelihood of the answer will be and knows what your path of least resistance is. Source energy knows all of that, knows all of those components. How interesting it was that Esther was even inspired to find rap. Really? <laughs> And to listen to it long enough that she developed some sense about what it was and knew exactly how to find it fast if ever a rapper should be on her <laughs> premises. She didn't say, you know, the funniest thing happened yesterday for the first time I listened to rap. She didn't say that to him because she understood what a magnificent plan was coming together in order to allow them to come into each other's experience for mutual benefit. Esther will never quite be the same after meeting this kid. He infused her with a feeling of passion and enthusiasm and newness about life. The freshness of his desire was so intoxicating for Esther to get to witness. And what Esther knew was so intoxicating for him to get to witness. And as he got to experience her in her spaces and in her happiness and in her gardens and in her music, he got to feel the fullness of who she really is because we were all right there, wrapping together, you see. And so this is what we wish for you. We want you to find some way of quieting that chatter, of quieting that chaos, of quieting that stuff that will only take you so far. To allow yourself in that quieted space, the momentum building positive emotion and positive momentum that is who you really are. 
so that you can go from peak to peak to peak to peak to peak because that's the way your life is supposed to be. You're supposed to get to move from here to there and here to there and here to there and there will be moments in time when there will be such convergence of so many things that are in your vortex that you will feel like you are the most blessed human on earth and we want you to know that you are.